In this part of the lesson, we'll take a brief look at how to change the title on a message box. Let's start by opening the file that I've downloaded and extracted. And when the file's open, we can click the Enable Content button to allow any existing code to run. Then if we open the Visual Basic Editor, we should find a module containing three existing subroutines. Let's look at the first subroutine called Changing the Title. This contains code to display a message box with a simple prompt and the VB exclamation symbol. If we run this subroutine, we'll see it looks a lot like the one we saw in the previous part of the lesson. You may also notice that the title bar of the message box contains the name of the application in which the code is running. So in this case, of course, Microsoft Excel. We can change that to any other string of text. If we click OK, we can head to the end of the current line of code, type in a comma, and we should see that the tooltip reappears with us positioned on the title parameter. We can set the title to any literal string. Let's add a quick string that says, this is a warning, just in case that wasn't already obvious enough. If we now run the subroutine again, we should find that the phrase Microsoft Excel has been replaced with whatever we've passed into the title. As you start passing arguments to multiple parameters, you may find it easier to use this style shown in the second subroutine where we use named arguments. So we write the name of the parameter first, followed by the argument that we're passing to it. We can do this with the title parameter as well. So let's type in a comma at the end of the current instruction. And then I'm going to use a space underscore to allow me to continue writing the instruction on a separate line. I can then refer to my title parameter, followed by a colon and an equals operator. And then I can enter some more text. I can enter some double quotes. And then let's just pass in some simple text. Is it over yet? We can then run the subroutine and we'll find the message appears as usual. We've got our title text appearing, replacing Microsoft Excel. This makes no difference to the end user, of course, but it does make a difference to you as a developer. It makes it much easier to tell which values are being passed to which parameters.